hello and welcome back to our channel guys today we will do a, a bedroom interior mock-up so as you can see after doing the render uh, we can see all the different parts in all different uh, colors this gets very easier to do we have done it with uh, the help of dimension first we will uh, start with the wall now first we'll get, take a rectangle then we will take a solid color and we will convert it to a smart object as you can see then decrease the opacity a little so that you can see the objects behind now set it according to the shape of the wall once you have done placing then click on right click then increase the opacity now we will use the masking option the part uh, that is uh, the wall part you have to select that first then press on the masking so as you know it will change in masking we have done it multiple times now we will do with the brim of the ceiling like the outer part so now with magic wand we will select all the colors separately and we will use it all the frames all the frame is see is in different color so we will change that color so that it looks better gives a realistic vibe so let's start with it now the parts that are not selected in the frame we will select them manually help of the polygon with the help of the polygon tool or manually now as you can see I am selecting all the parts that are not selected properly now all the parts are selected just the middle uh, frame in the lower part it's not selected properly so we will make it manually once you are done We'll take a solid color layer for this so what we basically did is to make sure that all the frames are in the same color right this will help you to get a realistic look now select the rug on the floor you can make it tile like also again now select the bed and take the solid color layer likewise you can just select all the elements that you want to color in different um, colors uh, all different tints and colors you can just select those objects and color them in different colors solid colors so yeah and name them later voice because it's very difficult to understand which is what now we'll move to the screens of the frame like the windows now we'll select for select then we will change the solid color of it as you can see a lo lot of part is not selected so the part that is um, right behind the tool that is not selected so we will select this manually and change the color we'll go to mask and use the white pen as you know to select we use white and to remove we use black then change the sheet on the bed also 
then change the chair one by one you just can change all the colors of the object you want to change then again take a rectangle for the bed we will use this as a smart object for the bed first to as you know we will change it into uh, take a solid color and then change it into smart objects but before that we will make a copy of this uh, rectangle so this is this one of this will be the back back of it and one will be the front so the part you will be using for um, back portion will be a little smaller than the other one and then change the change it into convert it into smart objects and then for the second one for the bigger rectangle just decrease the opacity and uh, set it according to the according to the blanket so you can set it and then select wrap you can just take a grid and for a better understanding you can change it accordingly after you are done placing it then take masking option but so you can see this will go to the back part also so for this we will select you have to select this part manually the back side first click mask then press control plus and zoom in and select the part you want to give to the down part okay select it separately you can follow me how i'm doing it once you are done just take a solid color and erase it with the white and then take the other side and decrease the opacity and set it then as you can see we will press control and take the masking option and with the black color we will erase the extra part that has been selected then again take a rectangle then convert it to smart object then with this we'll make two pillows likewise just distort and wrap these procedures are exactly same then do the masking part so that it's wrapped properly Out and wrap, and then mask. This is the basic procedure.
we will name the each objects we are working with we are creating now create another rectangle for the table and then as you want to add some texture to the table so you will smart, uh, convert it to smart object and then select the parts excess parts with the magic wand and then mask now we will select the other parts of it the small table then we will change the solid color of it now we will also select a color for the ceiling you can just switch off and switch on every layer to see if you are touched all the parts or not and you can change the colors now according to your preferences this is what i'm doing right now so that when i change and uh, edit it it looks more realistic so according to your preferences you just can change the colors and then we have taken the wooden texture beforehand selected it then we will just paste it here then we'll save every image and update it for the blanket we have also taken a texture and print beforehand we will select that save it and it will be automatically updated as this is the back side of the cover we will decrease the opacity a little for the pillow also we will use a similar pattern so as you can see we have already created other smart objects for the pillow blanket and the wall now we will press shift and all the masking options together for this we will take the window parts because as you remember that those parts were not selected so when we select all the masking parts from the frame the windows uh, glass part will be left for that um, we'll just convert it to smart object and mask it then we can just select a background image for the view you can choose whatever you wish then save it and then make it cross and blur so that it it gets a realistic view and it gets a little blurry then then press control shift and select all the masking option and then copy them remember you have to mask all the masking parts and then uh, copy it 
first make uh, you can make three copies at once or uh, one copy at a time then for the light shadow and mid tone do the according adjustments As you can see you are already done with it now you can just group all of them together the ceiling was left you can just just according to your preferences take the color of the ceiling you can take anything texture pattern whatever you wish once you are satisfied with the outcome you have got you can just group the layers together and then wrap it up for the last part i will just change the texture of the last table the smaller table as you can see i have changed the texture of the table you can change this parts edit this parts whenever you wish unless you are satisfied you can keep doing it that's it so as you can see we have completed the interior so that's it for today thanks for watching hope you like it